From ABC News headquarters, this is ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. Tonight, healthy living. As you know, this week, ABC's medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, has been bringing us his checklist for all of us as patients, his Bill of Rights. Number one, he said last night, was you have a right not to be kept waiting by your doctor. Number two, a right to a second opinion and how to ask for it. And he's here with two more tonight. What's the first, Rich? Okay, here's the first one, and it involves this, a paper gown. Mm. You know, everybody knows as soon as you put this on, it changes that relationship with your doctor. You immediately feel vulnerable. You have the right to sit down with your doctor and talk to your doctor with your clothes on. Every patient should have that dignity. Put them on, then have your conversation about the diagnosis. Exactly. And washing their hands. How do you ask a doctor to wash his hands? Well, it, it is a fundamental right for patients. Doctors are busy going in and out of rooms. They can forget. You have the right to know, did your doctor wash their hands? You have the right to say, you know, I'm a little weird about germs. Mm -hmm. Could you wash your hands? No good doctor is going to take offense about that. You know, even doctors are working right now to get doctors to wash their hands more. Hospitals are having a competition and they're sending in their videos for hand washing. Little music videos. Yes. Let's look. And wash it harder. 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 Love them out in San Diego there. So what about hand sanitizer, Purell, just as good? Absolutely it is, you know, as long as they're doing something. I, I've posted my full patient's bill of rights up on abcnews.com. I'd love for people to take a look at that and write me. Are there any rights th that are important to you that I've missed? All right, you take the list with you and be brave and Definitely. strong. Thank you, Rich.